Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a finite matrix space XD. Okay. And X, it contains more than one elements. Getting? So this is a finite matrix space we have as well as we have a function from X to R. As you can see here, R with a usual matrix. They have given this function is continuous as well as F of X image of X under F is connected. So we have to conclude about F getting. So this is our problem. So let us start with the given information. What we have, let me write, we have x is finite. Okay. So x is finite. So if you operate function on a finite set, image set will be finite. So implies f of x is finite. Okay. It is finite subset of R. I will mention it is finite subset of R since f is a function from x to r. So that's why if you take image of x under f, it will be subset of r. Okay. So the one very important information they have given f of x is connected. Here f of x is connected subset of r I should mention connected subset of r since it is a subset of r we have got getting. So in R, there are only two types of sets are connected. First is either it is an interval or the second set, second possibility, it is a singleton set. So it is a connected subset of R. That's why either it is singleton set or it is an interval. Let me mention that thing implies f of x is a singleton set or it is an interval. Okay. It is an interval, but the very important thing is f of x is finite as it is finite. It cannot be an interval. So the only possibility it is a singleton set. Let me mention that thing, but f of x is finite set. Okay. It is a finite set. So therefore it cannot be an interval. So therefore f of x is a singleton set getting it is a singleton set. What it means? It means suppose this is a matrix space X. Okay. And this is a real line R. We have a function from X to R. So F of X is singleton set. That means there is only one point. Okay. C such that image of all elements is C getting. So suppose here are some elements X1, X2 and so on Xn. So F of X is singleton set. That means X1 goes to C, X2 goes to C, X3 goes to C and so on. Xn also goes to C. That means F is a constant function. Okay. So our conclusion is implies f is constant. Okay. So that means if we have all these conditions, then that function should be a constant function. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.